If you've ever traded in Murder Mystery 2 before, there's a big chance that you've noticed that the values of weapons are nowhere near where they used to be at. So how could all these rare weapons go from extremely valuable to worthless in just a couple of years? My name is Playtested, and today, I'll be talking to two prominent MM2 trading figures and seeing their thoughts on modern day trading, as well as giving my own thoughts on what I believe is happening right now. Most of the values of weapons dropping can't really be that significant, right? <laughs> Wrong! In order to see how significant this actually is, we need to take a deeper look into a somewhat forgotten item series in MM2, more specifically, the Chromafire Pet series. If you played around early 2020, you definitely know how rare these things were, and the values of the Chromafire Pets definitely reflected that. To put this into perspective, the least valued Chromafire Pet, Chromafire Dog, was listed at 4,000 value on MM2 values. That's only worth more than a grand total of four weapons in today's day. And if you thought that was crazy, the most expensive Chromafire pet, Chromafire Bunny, was 30,000 value on release. Now with these pets being so sought after and highly valued, you'd probably expect them to be a little bit less but still high valued, right? Let's take a look at their value today. 20? Okay, so you're telling me that the most high valued weapons at the time are worth 20 value now? Alright, I need to get to the bottom of this. That's why I contacted the MM2 values owner, MF Dubs, and one of the owners of Supreme Values, HDMI, to help me with this video because they are way more experienced than I am. I asked both owners why these chromas were losing so much value. MF Dubs had this to say For the chromas and collectibles, lower value is solely due to duping and selling. There was a high demand for the items dupers and sellers ruined it with greed. While well, HCMI said, As far as chromas go, they're over-circulated. As demand goes down though, circulation goes down. Funnily enough, people also don't want chromas as much because they affect in-game performance. Both of these answers are valid and do make a lot of sense. So being an MM2 has always been a big issue, and when items that are this valuable get released, it's almost guaranteed that they will be a prime target for duping. This would also explain why HDMI said that these items are over-circulated. The one thing I really found to be the final nail in the coffin for Chromas was them causing performance issues, just like HDMI told us. If you've ever joined a laggy MM2 server, it's most likely because someone has a Chroma equipped. The combination of these items being mass duped and just overall being poorly optimized makes their current values actually justified. Okay, so we know that these high-valued Chromas got duped, but there's one more factor I didn't really mention yet. Hype. Hype has been a main factor for all newly released weapons, from when Flames was first released back in the day, to when Ice Piercer was released in modern day. But there's a different type of hype that seems to randomly affect certain weapons years after their initial release. Let's look at a few examples of this happening. Back in 2021, during one of the driest times of the year for trading, Ghost Set 2018 and the Wrapping Paper series seemingly randomly spiked in value. But why? Well, I don't know the initial cause of this spike, I do know that some of the most popular MM2 trading YouTubers during the time promoted Ghost Set 2018 and the Wrapping Paper series heavily. Can you really blame them though? During this period, trading was at an all-time low, and these hyped items were like as if it started raining during a giant drought. Most traders scurried to try to get their hands on these items for the next couple of months, but suddenly, things calmed down, a bit too much even. The hype had died, and the values of these items dropped along with it. You might be saying, playtested, I checked the value of these items, and they're all extremely low. This couldn't have happened based only on the hype stopping. There must have been a duping issue here as well. And you're absolutely correct. And if you did say that, I'm pretty concerned that you said what I put in the script word for word. Like I stated before, high valued items are a huge target for duping, including hyped items. A modern day example of this would be the sudden spike of value for zombie dogs. As of the writing of the script, Zombie Dog spiked up to 500 value and is now currently losing its hype, and I definitely would not be surprised to see it go below what it was doing originally due to duping. Some other items that MF Dubs and HDMI recall being hyped are Seasonal Items, Handsaw, and Corrupt, all of which went down in value. You know what else went down in value? The percentage of people not subscribed as shown by my YouTube statistics! Okay, if that clean transition of topics wasn't worth your subscription, then I don't know what is. But seriously, if you are enjoying the video so far, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and I think we can do it. With that being said, let's get back into the video. So we know that duping and hype end up lowering their value of weapons over time. 
but that still leaves out the majority of MM2 weapons. What about just the regular Gallies that so many people own? If you're an experienced trader, you've most likely noticed that every time a weapon increases in value, and you think it's doing well, the next value list update shows the weapon's doing a complete 180, and it starts getting underpays. These aren't necessarily high tiers either. Sometimes, they're weapons like heat. Here's what MF does have to say about this. Sellers and others manipulate the market for profit and cash sales. Even with duping patched, it is still a mess. There's tons of stocking storage accounts maxed out on every item. Wow, that was unexpected. So you're telling me, whenever an item starts to do well, its value is likely to get manipulated after by sellers? That might be a video for another day, but the main part I want to focus on is the storage accounts. It's impossible for us as a community to perfectly judge how many weapons are in circulation. We can only really go based off of data that has been given to us, like how many people you see trying to trade for a certain weapon. What makes this process impossible are the amount of alt slash storage accounts just sitting there, only becoming active once a certain weapon starts to do well. From what I can tell, value lists see this as, oh, there's more in circulation than we thought, so we might have to bring down the rarity of the weapon. I might be wrong here though, but it would make sense that if a rarity of a weapon goes down, the value would also go down with it. Point is, it's impossible to tell how much of a certain weapon in circulation there is. But is it all bad? Is there a glimmer of a hope for MM2 trading? I would like to end up this video with some encouraging and hopeful words from MF Dubs and HDMI. MF Dubs says, The decline with most values is within the older items that were duped heavily. A lot of the newer items have a decent value, unless it is ugly. But like with almost anything, even Pokemon cards, values and prices go up and down. The current state of values is, while unfortunate, quite normal. This is a standard economic fluctuation that Murder Mystery 2's economy experiences. It may be influenced by the release of dupe stashes, but it will stabilize and even out like it always does. New players or novice traders might not know this, but over the past at least 5 years there have been so many situations like this. I've heard countless the economy will never recover, and this is the end of MM2 trading. This state of economic recession won't last forever. And that's the current state of MM2 trading. I want to give a huge shout out to MF Dubs and HDMI for helping me with this video. This video would not have been possible without their generous help. Really quickly, I want to say that MM2 trading will always be popular. And if you enjoy trading, don't stop. The more active that the trading community is, the better. I really hope you enjoyed this video and maybe even learned something new. Please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting some feedback that you have on this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. This thing is trash! You fail!